This weekend, nationwide <gasps> protests erupted in response to an immigration ban from seven countries. The Trump team was quick to say it's not called a Muslim ban, but Rudy Giuliani must not have gotten that memo. <laughs> Take a look. What was Tell you the whole history of it. So right. when he first announced it, he said Muslim ban. He called me up. He said, put a commission together. Show me the right way to do it legally. And what we did was we focused on, instead of religion, danger. The right. air areas of the world that create danger for us, which is a factual basis, not a religious basis. Perfectly legal, perfectly sensible, and that's what the ban is based on. So to be clear, he said Trump asked him about a Muslim ban. Right. Right? Yeah. Am I right? Is that what, what he said? A legal one. They figured out right. a way to do it legally. And, and so this, you know, what was one of his campaign promises, but his team had to know there would be a strong response uh, to this. So what did they think was going to happen? I think the issue is that Trump himself initially referred to it as a Muslim ban, and then if you remember during the campaign, he had to walk it back and then say, no, I'm talking about areas that are hotbeds of terrorism in, in particular. But if you look at the language of the executive order, it's not a Muslim ban because he's talking about seven countries. There's over 40 Muslim countries that are not on the list. And he's talking about seven countries that were flagged by the Obama administration as problematic. Yes, but he so, never banned any. But let's he, just, he didn't, it, Obama right. did not ban anybody. He, he identified. They were on a list. True, they were on yes. the list yes. As, yes. as being an issue. And for me, when I looked at it, it wasn't shocking to me that an incoming president would look and say, these seven countries are on a list for, for being a potential problem. Let's figure out why, and let's put a 90-day hold until we can figure out why, because the main issue is a lot of military generals have come out and said that it's very hard to, to figure out when you talk about refugees and when you talk about people who are coming into the country from hotbeds of terrorism. The process where we, whereby we figure this out, we don't have the cooperation of those nations, and some of this misinformation is happening. But, so, so I don't blame let, them for you, saying, so let me ask with you respect about to these, let, let me but ask it should you never be called a Muslim because, yeah, yeah, yeah. because, you know, if you say, but if if there are uh, Christians coming in, they'll get, uh, they'll be able to get in quicker. And you're talking about a Muslim country. How are you not going to think that's the Muslim ban? I mean, he's, they're not saying, listen, we're we're open for Jewish refugees from this Muslim country. We're not. It doesn't say we're looking for Coptic refugees from this country. Mm -hmm. It sounds like we're banning Muslims. And the other question I have is why. Why do that when there's no proof that anyone in the last 10 years, no, with the exception... No, since 1975. Okay, well, yeah, from that, those, that yeah, I'm from thinking, but I'm thinking the last 10 years, because people have a very short memory. So let's mm -hmm. go 10 years back. Nobody from another country uh, has come in here. From any of those countries. And, and for the, yeah, from yeah. those countries. No one has come, no illegal immigrant has come in here and shot anything up. It has all been homegrown terrorism. But and so in, why aren't they, we looking at that? But there are three countries that are not on the list. Yes. Mm -hmm. where, they ha where they have come to this country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Saudi Arabia. But they're Saudi Arabia, Arabia. Yeah. they were, they were responsible for 9-11. Yes. yes. But they're not on and the list. they're not on the yeah, list. Yeah, so yeah. how do you, how do you explain I, that? I, I can't explain it. Yeah. They should, I, I mean, I don't, that doesn't make any logical sense. Because he has some business. Well, that could potentially be. We'll find, that, we'll find out. In regards to your first thing about why they mentioned Christians, and maybe Jed can clarify this, what I read about the idea of that is they would give precedent to people that are being religiously persecuted, which yes. would be the minority religion. But then, right? why, the but, with, but then yeah, why name it? Yes. With that. yes. Because this is, I, in my view, when I, when I look at it, it really is a Muslim ban shrouded by this national yes. security rationale is what he's, do, what he's done, and that's illegal because you can't, the First Amendment makes it very clear that you can't show preference for one, one religion, religion over yeah. another. You it's it's, it. it's our, it's the very foundation of our Constitution. And so I think what's going to happen, and Whoopi, you know, I was, I was emailing back mm -hmm. and forth with Whoopi mm -hmm. this weekend. I was horrified by what I saw, but I was so proud to be a lawyer this weekend. Because if you saw, they were on the front lines. They were setting up shop at airports. Right. Yeah. They were <laughs> typing. I was getting emails from, from uh, so many of my former federal prosecutor friends. They were like, if you're licensed over here, go to this airport, Sonny. Do this, do that. It was, it was really incredible. But I, I think that lawyers now are going to go back to court, going to go back to federal court, and basically say, this is a Muslim ban, and this is why. And they're going to show Rudy Giuliani's statement. <laughs> and that's like, 
Exhibit A. Exhibit A. The other question that I that I have is, we have complained, right? They have complained on the right a lot to people sneaking into the country. People, so all these people who actually went the right route, green card, yeah. got yes. all these yes. things yes. done. Yeah. yeah. And they can't come in either. Yeah, so that's a problem. to that's me, not, not this problem. is this is this is sloppy. And is as sloppy. much they as they the want to say, it's you know, reckless. we did this. You know, we knew what we were doing. It, it does not seem like they knew what it's, they were doing. It's, it's well, a little reckless. There were reports on that that they didn't go through the proper channels of yeah. notifying people. I mm -hmm. agree with you when you talk about green cards. Those are people who actually followed the legal the mechanism. So those has a green there should have been he can't, he can't exactly. leave the country. There should have been ah. protections written in when you put out an executive order. Absolutely, they should have put protections in for people who have green cards. Those are people oftentimes that are, you know, uh, interpreters. I mean, yeah. those are people that are very, very valuable in many people. ways. Because there are some interpreters and people that have pretty much, it would be a death sentence to go home because yes. they're seen as traitors but they that are but, here. But instead of taking the time to ensure that those people were safe, those people have been, a lot of them have been sent back. Well, and sloppy execution of this, which might not have been thought through, can, mean, can be the difference of life or death for yes. some of these people All that are I being put All I know is everything that back. Donald Trump is doing is making the world a less safe place. That is the bottom line of this administration. Every single thing he's doing. And just on a personal note, I have been stress eating. I gained two pounds. <laughs> From this annoying, whatever it is he's doing, the doomsday clock, uh, more uh, people in Canada now are going berserk. I mean, there's no place to go, even. But, and there's not enough food it, to eat. My question was, is it not possible, if, if the Obama administration set these seven countries up <clears throat> as targets for travel restrictions, is no, it not they, possible? That's not, what they, that's not a different thing. But, they identified right, those countries. But, here, but here's my question. They didn't set if, them up for if bans. If they identified it, if okay. they identified those specific seven countries, and you have a new administration coming in and saying, Let's find out why this happened. Hold on to that thought. Okay. We'll be right back. Yeah.